Hey guys, welcome to Bar Z. My name's Stan, and today we're going to talk about uh, flat stones. As you can see, I got one here that's in pretty good shape. I'm going to show you how I keep it in good shape. This stone is really old. It's got nice crisp edges. It's nice and flat. And we're just going to do a little bit of maintenance on the on the mag here. This mag's been in service for quite some time, and I just got done with a run of parts, and uh, it just needs to be checked for. Uh, high spots and things like that. So we're just running around very low pressure. You can feel it cut And you can see it gets polluted You know, so we're just gonna every time it does we're gonna flip And we're getting a real good tone out of it And I'm just gonna go along my back fence And I think my mags in good shape here. You see I'm picking up some stuff And we're just gonna flip to a clean side And just pop, we're just kind of polishing off the high spots. And a very light, very light pressure. You can feel it cut and you can feel it load. When the stone's loaded, don't waste your time. Go ahead and flip it. All right. So this thing's done. I'm happy. But now, what about the stone? And that's the reason for this video. So we've loaded up the stone. I'm going to go over to the sink and I'm going to show you how to care for your stone and have it ready for the next time. Let's see if I can get you, I don't know if I can get you in on that mag. Yeah, you can see the, that kind of polishes it out. This is a 30 micron stone. Yeah, but it puts a decent polish on it and knocks off the high spots. And like I say, real light pressure is all I was doing. Just doing a little bit of maintenance. Uh, let's go over to the sink and I'll show you how to bring this thing back and make, uh, make the stone ready for the next time. Okay, welcome to the slop sink. And we've got our dirty stone and what we're going to use this is a segmented uh, diamond card or bit they call it a bench stone it's made by DMT but it's segmented and uh, I think it's about 600 grit so it's it's reasonably rough and what we're going to spray it down with I'm going to use uh, this is a uh, a product by LPS it's an it's SAX it's just it's the same thing as purple power it's going to spray a little bit of that on the on the diamond card and then now I'm just going to take this stone and rub it up against that diamond and you can yeah you can hear it cutting and light again light pressure I'm not getting heavy-handed with it but there's there's that that side of the stone let's take a look at this side here and rub that around on it a little bit and if she gets oily or clogs up you'll feel it right away it'll start to stick otherwise it's just gonna float Okay, there's that side of the stone, so now we got two sides clean. There's another side. I can feel a little bit of oil getting into the diamond. And you can see a lot of the material getting in there. It's, it's white with uh, all that dirt and everything. And uh, then you just rinse. And you can repeat if you want. But there's our stone on all four sides, and this keeps your stones uh, reasonably flat, and it keeps them uh, nice and clean, you know. And you can go over all four sides one more, one last time. And it doesn't do you any good to be heavy-handed with this. Just a, a real light touch is all you need. But after you get your stones nice and flat and nice and clean, it's no big deal to keep them that way. Just a quick rinse. And there, that stone's ready for next time. It's not all impregnated with oil and junk off of the mag and little bits of cast iron and or whatever you've been stoning, you know. But uh, that's how you keep your, uh, your work stones clean and ready for use and functioning really well. All right, guys, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.